Make I update to now see the heart. But the ADS, mark them the update. <laughs> the road to presidential villa. Who go occupy Nigeria's most luxury home as president? This is the part of our discussion today. Make we run a massive hot no time. My name is ADS. I beg, support us to produce more of our interesting uh, videos. Thank you. Oh yeah, make we begin with this video. Watch. And the honest truth to me is simple. That we can accuse each other. We can point fingers. The question is, who is actually better off? I'm a northerner. I'm from Kano State. And I had been accused by colleagues and brothers in a very civil political discussion of dominating the polity, dominating the economy, and dominating the security. So I asked the question, if I dominate the polity, I have the president. Yes, I have the executive council and appointees that are constitutional, just like every other state. But what is my economic situation? And what is my security situation today? So the question is, is it working for me if I dominate somebody? It's not. The question is, look at all the indices of development. The North today is actually worse off. Security, education, prosperity, development, I don't know. Una just watch a full-blooded Nutella from Kano State telling you that dominating the policy no means say his economic and security situation done better. So him say he know they work for him people as they dominate other regions. If we not do the right thing, eh? Now everybody go still suffer. Him. What do you think say make this 2023 presidential election unique? Make we find out. Oh yeah, watch. This is the first time after 1979 that we're having a multi-presidential candidate, a seriously multi presidential candidate election instead of the binary options that we're used to. Now, if you follow the trend, technically speaking, in 1992-93, um, Abdullah and Tufa, it was a binary election. Then, subsequently, in 1999, uh, you had two strong candidates, Olufala A and um, eventually President uh, Basinjo. Then, subsequently, in 2003, there are two strong candidates, 2000 and um, 7, 2011, 2015, 2019. So this is the first time. And so it's in many ways similar to what we had in 1979. Mm. And so it makes the election unique. Now this is unique. This is peculiar. I see from my reading of the situation that people are beginning to fall back on their ethnic uh, leanings. Um, the Southeast will predominantly go with P2B. Now, um, the Southwest will predominantly. Does, that doesn't mean that a number of people in the Southwest will not vote against mm. an Asiwaju, uh, Bola, mm. Ahmed, Tinibu. Then, quite a number of people in the Northeast, and I'm specific this time, may likely go with um, Atiku, Abu Bakr. While some in the Northwest will likely go with um, Kwan Kwan So. But again, there's been a lot of uh, development that is interesting. If you notice, a very very leaders. And, and you consider them elites of the Yoruba race. A number of them are in support of P2B. You also have a Soludo, who is from the Southeast, uh, Prince Atoese, who is from the Southeast, that is also opposed to Peter Obi and, support of, in, and in support of candidates from other areas. Then you have Dr. Uh, Hakim Baba Ahmed, a northern elite by every consideration, who is opposed to both Atiku and um, Kwankwaso and most likely supporting uh, a P2B. So, the elite, among the elite, mm. there's been serious movement. They're, they're a bit more open. They're a bit more um, uh, more enlightened in their mm. approach to the presidential. So, it makes it difficult to call. Who did that video? Now, a chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. What he named now? Dr. Dakuku, Peter Said. Everything where he talked there and I say, since the return of democracy, our elections, they always be two horse race. This is not the first time where three major contenders from three major ethnic groups go hustle for the highest office in the land. And just few days to the election, it never stay clear who go win. <laughs> this one is indeed 
unique. Ona also hear him analysis on how this election fits go based on region and ethnicity. But eh, is this what our country really wants at this time? The answer now, no. No. Ona hear me so, no. To tell on say region and ethnicity, not they help anybody at all. And to also tell on say the kind of politicians where we get today, eh? They only think of uh, themselves and their family. They no send region or ethnicity. I beg. Here, waiting Bishop Matthew Kuka talk inside or on top this matter. Or your watch. The 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 issue is that there are our forces. I mean, I'm driving around your premises. I drove around here for about 10 minutes. And every time I drive around this premise, I just shake my head. Where is all this money coming from that Nigerians are putting up these gigantic structures all over the place? Where is the money coming from? For a country that is severely malfunctioning, for a country that is, pover that is the poverty capital of the world. You mean in, in the, in the Asokoro? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And I'm saying, where is this, all this money coming from? And Nigerians are sick and they are dying. So that tells you, and I've said it several, you know, and I don't mean, I've said governance in Nigeria is a criminal enterprise. Mm. People, you know, I watch The Godfather. I'm sure you know that. Absolutely. Movie. That's the now, I always tell people the opening scene in The Godfather. This gentleman called Bolas, you know, Bonacera, walks up to The Godfather. And he says, look, Godfather, this is what has happened to me. They beat up my daughter, blah, blah, blah. And he says, I went to, I, you know, I went to court. And the judge just looked at me and, you know, gave them a suspended sentence. And he said, because I felt injured by the courts, that's why I've come to you, Godfather. Remember what Godfather says to him. Godfather looks at him and says, why did you go to the court? Why didn't you come to me? Why did you go to the police? That's where we are in Nigeria. That because of this criminal, you know, criminality in governance, you now have a situation in which for you to come with a first class degree, you know, from Oxford, from Harvard, from Cambridge, from anywhere in petroleum engineering, and think that you can walk into the NNPC and get a job, the get man will tell you you are crazy. That's not how you get a job in Nigeria. Um, if you think that because you've worked very hard in the military, in the police, in all this security, and you think because you're so good, you deserve a promotion, even the people running the system will tell you that's not good enough. Now, when we get to that threshold, as we have in Nigeria, we are integrity, competence, capacity have been traded for something different. Then you are in trouble. And that's why if we don't get to the heart of the consequences of nepotism, I'm not looking forward to a president of Nigeria who will come from, who is a Christian or who is a Catholic, or who will, for example, just turn up a lot of these things upside down and begin to punish other people for the sins that they didn't commit. So I'm not hoping that a Christian will be president or anybody will be president and say, no, it's now time for us to do what those who came before us did. And when, when you raise this issue, these are the kind of things you hear from people in government. That, oh, Jonathan did this, Jonathan did that. So the fact that we didn't succeed suggests so very clearly we didn't prepare for this examination. Mm. Okay? And, um, so, and that the lesson we take away is that I believe Buhari is a good man. He's done his best. But his, be his best was not enough. His best speaks to the quality and level of his preparedness and his ability to assemble a team. Now, so he be, oh, them say we don't get money and we keep borrowing. Yet, structures, they go up everywhere inside this Abuja. Where the money they come from? No time to tell me, say, eh, the structures, now government eh, structures. Now, individual structures, when a public money, them thief use the runner. So, next time, you won't think about the uh, region and ethnicity in the time of election. Better not say you are on your own. They know the reason your matter. Like Peter Obi, they always talk. You know they buy bread cheaper in your region. Just because say, uh, now your brother, they power. Now lie you. They suffering now for everybody. Irrespective of your region or ethnicity. It they make brains happy. Now, People don't talk, say, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, fit postpone the 2023 general election due to some kind reasons. Make we hear from the chairman of the commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. On your watch. 13,868,441 permanent voters' cards, the PVCs, have been printed, delivered to states, and have been collected by citizens as new voters 
or by existing voters who apply for transfer or replacement of cards as provided by law. Similarly, following the display of the voters register nationwide and the conclusion of claims and objections by citizens, a new national register of voters has been compiled. In short, at no time in the recent history of the Commission has so much of the forward planning and implementation been accomplished 44 days ahead of the general election. Therefore, the Commission is not contemplating any adjustment to the election timetable, let alone postponement of the general election. I like boss talk say we don't go too far and very close to the 2023 general election to consider postponement. It means say the already scheduled time for the elections, eh? It go remain like that. Presidential and National Assembly election go happen on the 25th of February 2023. And the governorship and state house of assembly election go happen two weeks later. Will be 11th of March 2023. On another hear them. So come up for your mind say, eh, they won't postpone this election. Just they ready with your PVC to vote. Finally, if you don't register for your PVC and you never collect them, eh, I beg, rush now, go collect them. Oh. Collection go end on the 22nd of February 2023, according to INEC. Be part of Nigeria decide 20. 23. You need to be part. One of the year so because if you don't follow, now you say you don't get right to complain if government do bad this time. Yeah, me so I go see on tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. You don't collect updates, you want to run away. Biko, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.